Hi everyone, my name is Armina Raza and this is my model. She already has foundation and concealer on her face, so we're going to go right in with the contouring and highlighting. We're also going to do a simple eye look for her. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my Anastasia Cream Contour Kit. Now she has an olive complexion, so we're going to go ahead and go in the middle. The, we're going to pick the middle color, which is... Um, Cinnamon so you don't want something too warm because then it gets into the bronzing category And you don't want something too dark or it's gonna oxidize oxidize and turn too muddy So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a foundation brush the reason I'm grabbing a foundation brush is because It gives me more definition and precision so her face is round meaning the width between um, The width of her face is the same as the length of her face. So what we have to do is kind of lengthen the bottom portion and kind of narrow out the forehead, which is a little more wide. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that color, cinnamon, and I'm going to draw kind of a um, C shape, kind of curve it. So what we wanna do is kind of slim out everything including the temples because this portion of her face is a little more wide. So we're going to do, we're going to go on her, uh, below her temples as so. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same on the other side. And this portion of her face is also um, round, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this down. Word. So the whole point of contouring is kind of bringing out, um, sorry, not bringing out, carving out the unnecessary parts of your face to kind of thin out your face. So I'm just going to drag this down. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So what I'm doing is creating kind of a shadow. That's why it's really um, important to pick the right um, contouring color. Because if it's too dark, it's not going to look natural. We want to create a shadow, not a harsh line. So as you can see, this is where we're slimming her face out. Like her face is going to look a lot more narrow because we're kind of drawing a shadow so this side will be kind of slimmed out and so as this side this side is going to be more narrow we're going to leave this area because we still want to elongate her face that's the whole point point. and I'm going to grab my um, beauty blender and I'm just going to stipple this down her face You want to make sure you kind of like press the product in there. If you rub really hard, you're kind of removing the product, which kind of defeats the purpose of this whole um, process. So you kind of want to just press the product into her face so it creates a shadow. Now, it's up to you whether you want to use cream or um, powder. I think cream lasts a lot longer and it's more of a dramatic result versus um, powder. So as you can see, it's kind of just blending out. We're kind of thinning out her face. It's already starting to look a lot thinner. As you guys can see from the front, her face looks a lot I'm more. I'm going to grab my... Um, Beauty blender, and I'm just gonna stipple this down her face. You wanna make sure you kind of like press the product in there. If you rub really hard, you're kind of removing the product, which kind of defeats the purpose of this whole um, process. So you kind of want to just press the product into her face so it creates 
a shadow. Now it's up to you whether you want to use cream or um, powder. I think cream lasts a lot longer and it's more of a dramatic result versus um, powder. So as you can see, it's kind of just blending out. We're kind of thinning out her face. It's already starting to look a lot thinner. As you guys can see from the front, her face looks a lot more chiseled because I kind of dragged it down. Now see, if her face was oval, we would kind of stop right here. And we would just kind of um, focus on the focal points of her face. But since her face is round, we want to kind of drag the contour down and elongate the face. Okay, so now that that's done, as you guys can see, she already looks like a lot more refined. Her features look a lot more refined because we contoured her face. Now, it's important to already have your face concealed because if you just go straight into um, highlighting, you're not going to conceal any of the hyperpigmentation or dark spots that you might have and it might oxidize and turn gray. So since we already went ahead and concealed, we're gonna go in with highlighting. So I don't wanna go too light or it's gonna turn gray. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick the middle color, which is cream. And I'm gonna grab a synthetic brush. Synthetic brush, any microfiber or synthetic brush picks up product a lot better, cream product specifically. So I'm just going to go ahead and look up for me. Kind of press that in. Also, there's a, uh, a really important tip that you need to learn. When you're highlighting with someone that has a round face, you never want to drag it upward. That's going to widen her face even more. What you want to do is drag it downward. Because what you're doing by dragging the product downward... Okay, since we have already concealed everything... Um, let me go back and backtrack where I concealed. I did the T-zone, I did um, underneath the eye in a triangular shape, underneath the chin, and I set, I'm gonna go ahead and set it with this peachy tone from the Kat Von D contour kit. And we're gonna go ahead and set the concealer on the forehead, on the nose, underneath the eyes, and on the chin. And I also went and I already went and took the um, the lightest the lightest color in the Kat Von D palette, which is um, subconscious. I'm gonna it's kind of a light kind of bronzy color. You don't want to go too dark and you don't want to go too light. You don't want to be warm as well because once you go into that warm family, you're kind of going into bronzing versus contouring, and contouring is more creating shadows. So I'm going to go ahead and set that um, bronzer, that contour color. And we can also go underneath right here. And this is just going to also thin out the lower portion of her face. So I'm going to take this side. And as you can see, she is already contoured and highlighted. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my highlighter from Becca in Opal. I'm going to take a 224 MAC brush, which is any type of blending brush. It just has to be fluffy. This one's a little old, so um, it's not as fluffy. It doesn't have as much hair. So we're going to go ahead and take this color and tap off the excess. And I'm going to go on the highest points of her face which is right here. Turn your face. So as you can see, I'm gonna go right above, a little bit under here, and this is just gonna create a little bit of a pout. Okay. So now that we already highlighted as well, I'm gonna go ahead with my Tarte Lip Palette and I'm gonna take the same brush I use for concealer and prime her eyes 
with concealer. After that, I'm going to take translucent powder. Now what this does is mattifies anything and helps blend the eyeshadow a lot easier. I'm going to take the same 224 fluffy brush and dust this translucent all over her eyes. Now I like to use um, a couple brushes for the same thing. I think essentially it's very um, convenient and also it's easy for people to learn that way. So I'm going to go ahead and take this color Dreamer. Now this is just a, no actually I'm going to take Force of Nature first. We want to build on the color. So I'm going to take a soft brown and kind of go in the crease of her eye in a windshield wiper motion. I'm going to go back and forth. Now what I'm doing here is just kind of creating depth. We don't want to go right in with a dark color. It's very harsh and it doesn't create any dimension. See now the next color I'm going to take is this dark color dreamer. I like to build on so I like to tap off the access. So I'm going to go in and create a windshield wiper motion. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. We want to make sure we don't go way too high up. We want to keep the product right in the crease area. We don't want to go to the brow bone. It's essentially very important. Now, see, I have created a crease for her, although she already has a crease, but I just wanted to create more depth. Now, I'm going to take the darkest color, which is Multitasker, which is a deep brown. Now, this is going to kind of top it off. It's going to really, really create that smoky gradient effect. I'm going to take it and go ahead and pull. It's really easy when you want to, um, it's really easy to pull and kind of see what you're working with from there because you can really see where you're applying the product, how densely, um, how densely uh, pigmented the product is, where your product placement is, and how you're placing it. Now, I want to, I'm looking at this now and I kind of want to create more of a smoky, just a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of this black matte color, it's called Fashionista, and I'm going to take a 217 brush. Now what this brush does is um, it really, really packs on the product because the bristles are a lot more densely packed versus the 224, which is a fluffier brush, which kind of um, distributes a wash of color versus this product that really packs on the color. This is the kind of brush you want to use if you really want to um, pack on color. So I'm going to take just the inner crease portion of her eye and just pack the product right there and not blend it anywhere else because we don't want to add the product anywhere else because we already kind of blended washes of shadows there. So we don't really need to add any more product there. Now we also want to make sure it's blended, so I'm just going to kind of flick my brush outward so I can create a V shape as her eye. Now I want to go back in with this 224 brush, 224 uh, blending fluffy brush, and go in with Force of Nature, which was the first color that we used, and blend this out because I don't want any harsh lines and I really want to make sure that the product is blended. So I'm just going to take this and kind of blend it out because I saw that it wasn't as blended as I wanted it to be. So I am just going to blend that out. I'm going to take that Daydreamer color and do the same. I'm just going to add a little bit more here. I'm going to go back in and add Lastly, I'm going to take that highlighter color that I used and top it on the lid. I like to save this for last because sometimes when I apply this first, 